the cosmic background radiation. What is it? When was it discovered? How was it discovered? Well, the CMB was first predicted in 1948 by American cosmologist Ralph Alpher. Alpher and his team were working on research related to the production of elements in the universe, also known as nucleosynthesis. However, Alpher only predicted the CMB, but the cosmic background radiation wasn't actually discovered until an accident that happened almost 17 years later. In 1965, Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson were creating a radio receiver for the company Bell Telephone Laboratories, now known as Nokia Bell Labs, that would track a satellite's journey across the sky. They were puzzled, though, by the constant noise that the receiver was picking up. The cosmologists experimented, pointing the radio in every possible direction, and they realized that the noise was not coming from one single place, but from the whole sky. This accidental discovery completely changed the way the scientists understood how the universe formed. Both Penzias and Wilson were awarded a Nobel Prize in 1978 for their work. The universe began with the Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago as a fiery sea that expanded rapidly. A few minutes later, the universe's constituent premodural subatomic particles glomped together into an elemental soup of atomic nuclei, containing hydrogen, helium, and trace amounts of lithium. Electrons and light collided and scattered off of those atomic nuclei. Over the next thousands of years, the cosmos continued to expand, giving the particles more room to move, allowing the universe's temperature to cool bit by bit. Around 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the temperature dropped to about 3,000 Kelvin. 3,000 Kelvin is around 4,950 degrees Fahrenheit. The ever common material steel melts at 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. This means that space 380,000 years after the Big Bang would have liquefied steel almost instantly. You might be wondering, how did we measure the temperature of space today? Well, in 1989, the Cosmic Background Explorer launched into space. When we look at the cosmic background radiation, we're actually looking at the dominant form of energy in the whole universe. This radiation fills the whole sky, comes from every direction. And so it adds up to be a hundred times as much energy as comes from all the stars, all the galaxies, all the suns, all the planets that people can see with their own eyes. A um, hundred times as much as that. So it's uh, very important to realize we're looking at the dominant energy of the whole universe. This is the remnant of the Big Bang itself that we're studying with the COBE satellite. The goal of the COBE satellite was to measure the intensity of the microwave radiation found in our universe. The strongest signal that the probe picked up had a wavelength of about 2 millimeters. Using Wien's displacement law, scientists figured out that the temperature associated with that wavelength is roughly 2.725 Kelvin. Another question you might have is, how long will we actually be able to see the CMV? The CMB that we see today was emitted 13.8 billion years ago when that portion of the universe reached 380,000 years of age. The CMB we'll see tomorrow will have been emitted 13.8 billion years plus one day ago when that portion of the universe reached 380,000 years of age. The light that we see is the light that is arriving after journeying through the universe since it was first emitted. Since space is infinite, we will theoretically be able to see the CMB forever. Today, we know that the universe is currently around 93 billion light years in diameter. It stretches out 46.1 billion light years in all directions just from us. Just one of those light years is 5,878,625,370,000 miles, which is far enough to tra traverse the distance between the sun and the earth nearly 64,000 times. Alternatively, if you wanted to travel a light year just around our own planet, you'd have to travel the circumference of the Earth just over 236,070,410 times. Well, there you go. I hope your search across the universe taught you everything that you wanted to know.